Morning, this is Brian. Today is Wednesday, May 31st, 2023. And I'm here along the dirt extension of Mesa Road here at the edge of Mission Trails Regional Park. It's time for a spotlight on plants video. Today, I want to spotlight this beautiful, beautiful, tall green plant here. And this is called California figwort. This plant is Scrofularia californica. And this plant is an ephemeral perennial, meaning its root survives for several years, but the stems and leaves go dormant and dry off during the summer, fall, and early winter months. So Scrofularia californica is an ephemeral perennial in the figwort family, the Scrofulariaceae. It's also known as California bee plant. What we have here is a multi-stemmed, beautiful, tall plant that can reach up to about eight feet tall, maybe even a little taller, perhaps. And it shoots up, usually here in the lowlands, it shoots up in the winter rainy season because it doesn't usually get very cold here. But in higher elevations, this plant will shoot up more towards the springtime and what we have here are these very large, at the base of the plant, very large, roughly triangular shaped leaves with wavy edges here. Wavy, sometimes slightly lobed. And then as you move up the stem, the leaves get smaller, which is the case on a lot of herbaceous plants. And then as you go up higher, the leaves are reduced to these. And if you rub the if you rub the stems of the plant, it gives off kind of a kind of a bitter aroma. They're just caught right now. But as you see, if we go move up the stalk, the leaves are reduced to these. Very tiny little narrow linear leaves. So this is one of our really awesome California natives and it shows up a lot of times on the sides of trails, near rocks, and sometimes uh, in scrub, sometimes not that far from a water source, sometimes way out in the middle of the scrub and chaparral. So again, the leaves down here let me see, are we looking at it oppositely or, or see the leaves down here lower lower down are a little more oppositely arranged as you see here. So they're oppositely arranged. But as the leaves get smaller and we move higher up, notice that the leaves take on an alternate arrangement. So this is one of those several species of plants we have. The base of the plant has oppositely arranged leaves, and higher up you go and become alternately arranged. So it's kind of an interesting thing that a lot of our species of plants do. And again, since this is an ephemeral plant, this is all from one growing season. So let me get a couple pictures of the leaves and then we will start talking about the blooms of this beautiful plant. Okay, so let's go talk about the flowers of this plant. Now, these are what the flowers look like. They kind of look like almost like rounded tubes with a very small opening at the top. And that's pretty characteristic and they're kind of a, anywhere from a pinkish red to an orangish red color. And depending on elevation, the lower elevation plants will obviously be blooming earlier as we are at the end of May and these plants have started blooming probably about a few, probably about a couple weeks ago. So this one's starting to near, starting to near peak bloom. Uh, it's still got a little ways to go. But I guess we can call this California bee plant as well because of that. The honeybees seem to like this plant. 
So this plant being in the genus Scrofularia is the family namesake of the Scrofulariaceae. So once the flowers are done, what will happen is they will get these little seed capsules. As you see here, this is a pollinated flower. It's turning into a seed capsule. And eventually, when the, when the stalks dry out, the seeds should be ripened inside, then this capsule will burst open and the seeds will fall out, leaving a chance for another generation of this plant to grow. So what happens is once the seed capsules dry up, the stems are gonna dry up and dry back down to the root. The root will survive during, in low elevations, is the dry summer, and in the higher elevations, the cold winter months. And then they will re-sprout again come the following spring. And here we go. Apis mellifera mellifera, the European honeybee, kind of has to stick its head a little further in there because these flowers don't open very widely. This is about as widely as they're going to open. They're very narrow, very narrow flowers. But this is a very charming plant. I've never tried growing this. I've tried growing quite a few native species of plants, but I've never tried growing this one yet. So I would like to maybe one day, but again, we're talking about habitats, sometimes out in these disturbed areas, sometimes trail side. But I notice a lot of times you're also going to find this plant around large rocks. That's another place you're going to find Scrofularia californica. And it's quite a beautiful plant as you see here. And we've got a nice little small pocket of it going down towards this riparian drainage down here. So you can see more of this plant. It's very upright. So how are you going to know what it looks like when it's not blooming? Well, especially when it's very early in the growing season and it's just starting to come up. Well, that's an easy answer because when it's first starting to come up from its root in the rainy season here or in the spring in the higher elevations, you're going to see a bunch of these leaves just coming up from the ground. A bunch of small stems with these, these very large leaves coming up. And that's how you know that's a California figwort plant that is starting to leaf out for the spring or the rainy season down here. I have to qualify everything with a little extra there, as you can see. But once you start seeing these bright green, kind of wrinkly leaves, they tend to be even a little bit brighter when they first come out, sometimes almost to a sheen almost, then you know you're in an area where there's a population of this beautiful plant. So let me go take a couple pictures of the flowers and some other features, and we'll finish off this video. So if I've mentioned before, this plant can be found at different elevations. I have seen this plant near sea level here in San Diego County, and I've seen it above 6,000 feet in our mountains. So it does have quite a wide elevational range. As for the full range of this plant, what parts of California it lives in, look get to the look down to the bottom of the look down to the screen, and uh, I'll have a more comprehensive range. But. What a beautiful plant this is. This is Scrofularia californica, California figwort. What a charming plant this is, a natural part of our natural community here in Southern California. This is gonna do it for my spotlight on plants. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out some of my other spotlight videos. Hopefully more coming up soon.